today is the 1st of March 2021 and officially first day of the YouTube channel. Just arrived at the first floor extension where we will be starting with the brickworks today. So let me quickly take you upstairs to the first floor slab that we casted last week Thursday. Everything went well with the cast. Concrete is busy curing but we can start with the brickwork. What we will do is we will go with the outside skin of the wall first because all of this internal walls and external walls will be demolished. So what we're basically doing is we're extending the main bathroom out. We're extending first floor walls out to increase the size of the bedroom. Main bedroom, that, that wall will extend. This wall will extend out to the end. New bathroom that will go in there. This wall will be bricked up. This opening over here will create. Bath will stay here. Shower will stay there. Toilet will go on the external. All new windows and doors, all internal doors will be new timber doors. And all external windows will change to aluminium frames. Aluminium frames has already been chosen with regards to the color. We will be getting the glazing company out during the course of the week to measure so they can start with the manufacturing. This is just another bedroom over here. Built-in cupboards will all be upgraded. This is the second bathroom upstairs. Completely gutted will be new bathroom fittings, toilet, vanities, new shower doors, new bath. And then behind me here, you'll see we removed all the old insulation. We'll be upgrading the insulation, but this is just another bedroom. In the back garden of the first floor extension, we will see we're busy with the brickwork all the bricks are up already we did that on friday last week so we we'll prepared to build up on first floor today piece of extension that you see over there the existing house that will all be demolished and the external wall will come to the front and then there will be another wall be built out there we've also created this dance floor patio area where they will be able to entertain and formwork needs to be up for another two weeks then we can start stripping the formwork underneath the shutting then the concrete will be 28 days and that has obviously reached its full strength what you'll also see here we had to install a subsoil drain all the way through because the where we're building at the moment is full of groundwater standing underneath the formwork that we've just installed and all of this crop work will be, re be removed in two weeks time the beam shutting will all be removed what you will see here is the underside of the Voidcon slab that we've just casted. So we've got a row of support down the middle, the beam that we've casted on Friday, and everything went well with the pour. Hi right, guys, just arrived at the first floor extension. Uh, the guys are busy with the brickwork. Quickly take you for a tour upstairs so you can guys see what we're doing. Let's go see what the guys are doing outside, busy with the brickwork. Guys, let me just quickly show you what we have done this morning so far. So all of that brickwork, there will be a window over there, there will be a window over there. So the guys are just moving now to the opposite side of the wall, where we will be building a line all the way through there. Uh, bricks are prepared and ready, and we will stop just before the end of that wall, in order for us to get all of this that we will demolish to get that down. So as I said, we're building up the brickwork first and then we'll be demolishing the upstairs so that we can extend that roof over there all the way along here to join up to this roof over here. All right guys, just done my site visit at the first floor extension um, and renovation. On my way back to the office, got a lot of paperwork, a lot of quotes that I still need to do um what i'll do is i'll check in this afternoon again at the flat fit extension that we're doing and also i'll pop in here to see how it goes Morning, 2nd of March, 
Tuesday, just left the office, it's 9 minutes past 6 on the way to the first site, going to see what they've done yesterday, uh, we, we're continuing with the build of the brickwork on the first floor, and uh, see you there. Just arrived on site at the first floor extension and revamp, um, the guys will be continuing with the brickwork today, we'll also order lintels for above the windows today. The plumber and electrician is expected to come tomorrow with regards to first fixes on the first floor. Plugs needs to be changed and swapped. Light switches needs to be moved down to a standard height of 1.1. And we we'll also get the trusses made starting today. It'll roughly take about a week. Uh, with that delivery of the trusses, as I explained yesterday, the strengthening material will come. We'll get a team in the roof on the trusses so that they can strengthen the roof. Got another 12 days before we can start stripping the shutting underneath, underneath this slab. And yeah, hopefully it's a good day. On the way to the flat lid extension, it's probably about 25 kilometers from here. Going to have a look and see what they've done. Um, there we are continuing with the roof sheeting, plumb electrician there on Thursday so they can start with their first fixes as soon as they've done we can then close up and we can plaster on the inside. A few meetings today um, but yeah exciting day, busy day, weather's looking good, a little bit overcast at the moment but it's going to expect it to be at about 26 degrees Celsius today. How's it guys just on first floor where the guys were continuing with the brickwork yesterday always nice to just come to site before the guys arrive it's now 6 37 on tuesday morning i'll show you what the guys have done yesterday so as i mentioned there on the corner that wall we built yesterday and also this piece of wall the brickwork is continuing we installed brick force this is called brick force every fourth course and that basically strengthens up the wall windows Another window and another window right on the far side. We have a window here, we have a window here, and there's another window over here. So there's n nice natural light that will be coming through. Roundabout on that line where that trusses are, there's going to be a wall that obviously divides the room from the bathroom. So we'll be knocking out a section of the wall through there, and then all of that will come to that line over there. As I mentioned, this window is coming out. This window is coming out. That door is obviously coming out because that line will be extending through basically to here. So the bedroom in length will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, roughly about seven meters. So you can see it's a nice big space. There's going to be another protruding little wall coming out here because there's going to be BICs and BICs all the way down here. And then roughly in about this line over here, there's going to be a dividing wall that separates the dressing area to the bedroom. Bed is going to be mounted up against there, facing that direction over there. And you can see it's not a bad view. Kyle's samples is also here. So the client is choosing one of those tiles i'm not sure which ones they are yet but i think those are for the main bathroom and for the second bathroom upstairs it's nice bluish tile that you can see over there and a nice gray whitish tile gray tile with a metro style small tile quickly came downstairs just to have a look at how it looks from the bottom that concrete that we casted last week thursday will obviously plaster up all the way through so there won't be a line between the brickwork and the beam so that column will also be plastered and all of that will be plastered as well just a view from the bottom what we do is we leave it's called toothing on the side where we're going to join this wall over here into that little piece over there show you on the other side What we've done and as i said all of the shutting for the beams and obviously for the slabs will all be removed in about 12 days time how's it guys just quickly on the way back to the first floor extension also gonna just quickly jump into a hardware store get the guys new hard hats 
um, they look a little bit tired some of them I saw weren't wearing them so quickly gonna pop in there just arrived at the first floor of renovation where the guys are doing well with the brickwork just quickly send one of my drivers to go buy all the lintels because by the tomorrow morning we should be lintel height uh, then we can install all the lintels then the windows can um, be will be measured um, so that they can go into manufacturing and as I said the trusses are busy being built so as soon as the trusses arrive we can then demolish all of these inside walls get the trusses on get the tiles on to show you what the guys have done as you can see they built some scaffolding so that we've got access to the first floor we've got so here's the opening there will be a vanity from that wall basically to this wall over here then there will be a wall built along here the toilet will be there with the window and that will be bricked up there will be another window over there so yeah, everything is going well on this first floor renovations i'm going to quickly pop in to the flatted extension see how the goes are going there the plumber is expecting tomorrow and the electrician is already there busy with these first fixes so see you there just quickly pop to the outside of of the yard just to make sure that we've got enough materials so we've got enough building sand for probably the rest of this week we've also got enough bricks for the rest of the week also what I would like to show you that I send the guys today to set it up but nice good morning it's Wednesday 3rd of March on site as I like to just be on site before the guys arrive it is 20 to 7 in the morning um, good day, good weather today, and the guys are doing well with regards to the brickwork. The lintels on the north windows are in, um, and they will be continuing with this wall today. Lintels will also be going on there, and then as soon as the roof is on, we can start then demolishing these walls. I'll show you guys today a little bit of the brickwork, how they do it, how they gauge. Other than that, a busy day. Um, also need to get a few quotes in um, that we're working on strike a few of them um, but as I said everything is going well here today and um, yeah see you see you around <laughs>
Here we're basically installing the roof wire. So you'll see that we install the wire over here. Another brick gets laid on there, of it gets built in, and this won't be able to lift. And that trusses will be on here, and this will be bound around the trusses. We've got roof wire every 760 millimeters, as per the engineer. And you can see that's basically how we install it. Hi guys, just here in the hardware store, just looking for those hard hats that I was talking about yesterday. Can't find them, I need a color of our company. Nice!
How's it guys? Just arrived at the first floor extension. Um, the guys done very well today. Uh, it is now 16.29. Just quickly cleaned up a few things. I'll just show you what the, the guys have been doing. So that lintel we saw yesterday, these are all the new windows lintels that went on today. Brickwork w went up and the internal walls, it'll be basically over here and another one over there for the toilet and this entrance basically over here will be for the bathroom main bathroom from the main bedroom that we'll only build once we've got all of this removed tomorrow what we will do is we'll start building the gable wall up here 11 o'clock tomorrow morning the roofing specialist will be on site he's going to take a few measurements and we're going to start putting the roof trusses into manufacturing that probably will take five days as soon as the trusses are on we're going to start demolishing all of the internal walls once that's gone we can build the internal walls i'll show you on the drawing what we what we're going to do there guys just want to explain to you what we're basically doing is that entire wall and this entire wall is a brand new wall this is the internal wall that we still have to build where the bed will be, the built-in cupboards, and built-in cupboards here at the back. That wall there was the wall I spoke about that we need to brick up. That opening we need to create. Vanity will move into that section there, and then toilet will have its own door. Bath, shower, leading into the other rooms, all we're basically doing is an upgrade. So, new paint on the walls, as I said, new ceilings, new cornices, new skirtings, new doors, all the alum, all the wood doors are being changed to aluminium doors and basically that is the new bedroom extension that we're doing upstairs but yeah the guys have done very well there's no a roof wire on there due to the fact that that's going to be a gable wall that last little section over there we will put some roof wire on because that roof will be lying on top of that wall to 7 4th of March on site at the first floor extension project where we will be building the gable walls today 11 o'clock today meeting with the roofing specialist to measure this roof now that we've got the external walls on we can get this roof on and at 12 30 meeting up with the glazing company guys just back at first floor renovations guys are busy with the gable so that's that section over there you can see they've only got a few courses left to do and then they're all done good morning it's friday 5th of march 20 past 6 at the first floor renovation project quickly came to have a look of what the guys did yesterday afternoon wasn't managed to be able to get here 
Um, guys, just got one more wall to do with the window. That's the wall that's inside the toilet. We were not going to build that wall for the fact that we were going to demolish this and have space to take it down. But in hindsight, there is a few windows that we can take the rubble down. So we're going to build that window in to roof height. As I mentioned yesterday, the roofing specialist team were on site. They did their measurements and we'll probably have trusses by Thursday. Let's hold some for that time period. We will have to have the walls demolished. So next week is going to be demolishing, taking roofs off, install the new trusses, upgrade the existing trusses, have the tiles on. We're probably expecting the tiles to be delivered next week, Tuesday. I'll place an order to get all the material up that we have to for next week um, and be prepared. Well, the guys just arrived at the first floor extension where the guys are just finishing up the last little bit of the brickwork so what you'll see there is we had to remove that little piece of roof so that the guys can build scaffolding inside and then they're building that, that gable wall up that's the last little bit of the brickwork that we still need to do so you can see there that the gable is going to be up there and then that roof there will extend on to that new brickwork wall that we've done so it's now just past four. The guys are still working another half an hour and then cleaning up. And then we're done for the week. Very productive week, guys. Um, even the client is extremely happy. The client says we, we're doing well. Um, we probably a half or a day ahead of schedule. So yeah, if, if we had a schedule and the client is happy, we had a meeting with them at 10 o'clock this morning and just walked through a few things. The client is happy, life is good. <laughs> 